Hey, I'm Jared, and I think the theme of the night that we've been talking to a lot about is family, of course, and you know, your father is an inductee before you, and, and now we have Donnie going in after his brother Bobby and joining Red Farmer, who's sort of family with the Alabama gang. What does it mean to you when you see families going into the NASCAR Hall of Fame year after year? I, I think that it kind of um, shows everybody that the things that we've said and heard all of our life, I mean, I've been around this sport the majority of my life, and all we ever talked about of what a family sport it was, and, and there's no better uh, way to, to show that than the people that have been involved in it for so many years, um, you know, that the, we see that the family aspect of it is big inside as well as it is outside in the stands, too. Absolutely. Yeah, we've also been asking a lot of um, these inductees, too, what that moment was like for you. Dale Jr. said he thought he was going to be nervous when you get up there and you make this big <laughs> emotional speech, and then he got up there and he was so relaxed and was able to get his words out and could take it all in. How was that moment like for you? Um, I may have been just the opposite of that. I was very relaxed and knew that I knew the, you know, my speech and, and was so looking forward to it. Um, but I made the mistake of doing two things that I told myself I wasn't going to do. But when I first walked up, I looked up on the wall and saw all of the ones that have, with their flags, that had been put in before me. And of course, I saw my dad's. And, um, then I made the mistake during my speech of looking out and at my kids and my family. And you, you, you do that, then you start looking at the people that really made the difference that for the reason that I'm here and I'm fortunate to wear this coat. And you know, that was Robert and Doug Yates and, and Carolyn Yates and Richard Yates and Todd Parrott and so many others uh, that I was fortunate enough to, to have here that night. And you know, just, totally lost track of, of what I needed to be saying and reading the teleprompter and trying to keep up and literally trying not to cry. Yeah, it was so, heartfelt. Yes. It came from the heart at that point. Absolutely. And you were a broadcaster during a bunch of Jimmy and Chad's career. What is it like seeing them translate that skill on the track to being here at the Nestor Hall of Fame? You know, it, when you're watching it, it you, you understand quickly that both of them are going to be in the Hall of Fame. Um, but how far they took that um, was something that each each year you just said this can't continue and you know for those five years in a row I, I was you know there doing the broadcasting for the majority of that and it was like how did they even do this you know it's just incredible because you understand how hard it is to go back I mean yeah I won one time in 99 we go back in 2000 and you think We've got everybody here, everything's great. We go to Daytona uh, in 2000, we sit on the pole. Uh, it turns out we go and win the Daytona 500 again, and like, well, maybe we can do this, you know. Yeah. But you then you start realizing just how hard it is and how the competition comes after you. But I don't know as much as the competition, it's just the, the difficulty of, of the inside of your race team, of everybody performing at that high level, and for the amount of time they did, it was just incredible to watch, and how they did it in so many different ways. You know, it didn't matter what they threw out. They changed the cards, they changed the format, and they were ready for everything that was thrown out. Yeah. Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, Dale, Jared. This is Harrison Burton, driver of the number 21. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, check out one of these two videos beside me. Visit funstretch.com for more racing content.